Okay, so uh, this is our problem here of uh, four parts. Um, it reads, if a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 10 meters per second, its height in meters after two seconds is given by h is equal to 10 t minus 1.86 t squared. Okay, so let's look at the first part. So in order to find a velocity, we need to differentiate this function here. And the uh, derivative of 10 t is just 10 and uh, the root of, of negative 1.86 t squared is negative 3.72 t. Oh, well, this came out lousy. Okay. Um, so to this, because of the 2 multiplied by the 1.86 is uh, 3.72. Now we're going to substitute 1 into this function here. So this 10 minus 3.72, and that is equal to uh, 6.28 meters per second. Because um, because we multiplied, we put we put the one instead of the t, so 3.72 times one is just 3.72, and the 10 is just a constant, so 10 minus 3.72, it's 6.28. All right, uh, let's look at part b now. Uh, now we just look at this one, this function here, v of t, and we can just substitute a. Uh, this step is not particularly difficult, so it's just 10 minus 3.72 times a. Okay. And uh, the part c. So um, we said h equal to 0. This, this um, step is a little longer. So h equal to 0 is equal to uh, 10 t minus 1.86 t squared. All right, and we notice that both of these have t in them, so we can just factor out a t. All right, t, t is outside. We just have 10 minus 1.86 and this is equal to zero. Okay, now in order for this to be zero, one or both of these factors have to be zero. So, uh, we, so this t could be zero, this, this one could be zero, but we don't want that because when t is zero, that's basically the beginning of the problem. Uh, so we're trying to find the final time when the a rock hits the ground. So we set this this one equal to zero. So we have ten minus one point eight six equal t one point eight six t equal to zero. Uh, let's continue up here. So uh, we move the one point eight six over to the other side by adding 1.86 to both sides, 10 is equal to 1.86t. Now we solve for t, so just divide by 1.86. Divide by 1.86 on both sides. And then this one cuts. So T final is equal to 10 over 1.86 seconds. All 
Okay. And now we're going to substitute uh, um, final time into the velocity. So we have 10 minus 3.72 times 10 over 1.86 right and uh, since we multiplied 2 times 1.86 to get 3.72 these two can cut and we just get 2 over here so we just have 10 minus 20 and that equals negative 10 meters per second right. and that's the final velocity of the rock when it hits the surface and we can verify all these steps um, by looking into the calculator here so uh, I have graphed the function here 10x minus 1.86x squared right and then let's look at the graph here it's a parabola facing downward so uh, we can calculate say the um, like the the velocity at, at one second as we looked at in the first um, part so uh, we can go here calc second calc and then number six let me just press one enter and it sees 6.28 meters per second right and then uh, when we look at we can also calculate the velocity at the final time which is uh, so we'll just press 6 again and it's uh, 10 divided by uh, 1.86 press enter and it's minus 10 as you can see uh, and also you can see that's at the point where the parabola crosses the uh, x-axis. Well, that's it for this problem.